All right, you want to go with Rahul or you want yeah, to go with Rahul? All right. Troll of the year. We haven't even done our my our Millie Awards for the end of the year thing that we always do. I'm calling it now. The troll of the year. Give the background. So Elon takes over Twitter. I guess the purchase went through. I feel like there was never like confirmation. Like he, he actually wired the money. He just literally showed up at the office and like Yeah, there 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 hasn't been like a proper ribber ribbing ribbing ribbon cutting moment. Like it's not like it was definitively- more like a squatter. He just like went into the office and they're like, I guess yeah. you own it now. You yeah, seem to be like, here. Mine. And, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> like playground rules. Like, wow. That's yeah. all it took to have Twitter. <laughs> <I should've done laughs> that. It, 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 have you ever heard of a, like a coup, like a coup d'etat, like with, with governments? Uh, you know, I was I, I read a lot of. Hi- yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they are. Dad joke. I read a lot of <laughs> history, history jokes or history jokes. I read a lot of history books about uh, whatever. And they talk about like a coup. And I'm like. So you literally just like walked into the White House and you just said like, you know, this is mine. And like the general has promised me that he's going to convince these soldiers to attack. You know what I mean? It's like an interesting concept. You're like, so it's all just made up, I guess. Like these rules that we're, we we live by, this is just, this is fiction. Dude. And that's kind of like what I felt like he did. He just walked, he's you know, like, well, I, I own this now. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Did, have you seen, uh, you know, Derek Lewis, the UFC fighter? Have you seen that compilation of his thing where he says, just get up? No. <laughs> so they're like, Derek, uh, you're big, like knockout artist. But like, you know, the, the, the knock on you has always been like, what if you get into a wrestling thing? You know, how's your jujitsu? Are you training? Jujitsu ain't real, man. And they're like, what? And he's like, man, you don't need jujitsu. Just get up. <laughs> and they're like, what? he's like, why? Well, I don't want to stay on the ground with another man between my legs. No, I'm, I'm not into that. Like, I'm not going to do jujitsu. I'm just going to get up. And they're like, but you, you need jujitsu to get up. He's like, no, I'm just going to get up. And so then there's this, and so they, there's a clip of him saying that. And then there's a, it's like a six minute compilation of literally somebody takes him down. He doesn't do jujitsu. He just stands back up. He's so, so powerful. That's how I feel. That's what Elon Musk did. He's like, no, nah, I just. Just walk in. <laughs> yeah. He's Take like, it. What do, you, what do you mean? He's like, well, I'm just going to walk in with a sink <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and take it. So anyway, he does this thing where he just, he says, this is mine. And there's all these reporters outside of Twitter's office and something Painting crazy for happened. a story. They're waiting for the story about something going wrong. Elon comes here. Oh, there's a protest. There's a walk. And so the, what, what happens is the first sto- big story that happens is there's a picture of these two guys and um, kind of like, you know, kind of like nerdy sort of engineering looking guys. And they're holding <laughs> giant cardboard boxes. And it says these two data scientists, the data engineers, data scientists were, were fired today from Twitter. Here they're seen <laughs> walking out with their possessions in their boxes. And um, and I saw it and immediately something looked a little off. Because I was like, this guy just looks so goofy. But I was like, well, that's pretty believable. You know, there's a bunch of goofy looking people that work in tech. But Okay. Oh my god, he looks wow. They, man, they really found the perfect character. He looks looks pretty goofy. And then I read the name and it says But he but he but he had a box in his hand. So they each had a brown box, like which is just foreign because like if you work at a tech company, like you you don't even probably own anything. You own enough just to put in a so book put bag. Your ba- put your laptop in your backpack. Yeah. And like if you do get fired, do they even like is that a thing where you like hand people a box anymore? I don't know. You but know they, what I mean? They, they played it perfectly. So then it says Rahul Ligma and something Johnson. Uh, we're Daniel fired Johnson. today. Daniel Johnson, we're fired today. Blah blah blah. <laughs> and then, and I saw that, and I was like, "Oh my god, this guy executed a ligma!" Like, for those who don't know, ligma is a uh, is a little joke that people play on the internet, where it's like ligma. Lig- you say something blah, blah blah ligma, and then someone's like, "Ligma? What's ligma? I'm not familiar." Ligma nuts, right? So that's the joke. <laughs> and they did this to basically, I think CNBC was the first one who like reported it. And then it just kept getting, sp- the same photo kept getting spread ever because everybody wanted this story about. And Elon the lady who tweeted, people. she was this CNBC reporter. And I, I the original tweet said something like, uh, we're at the scene of Twitter. These two engineers just came out who said they're the first to be laid off. And it's just so clear how defeated they are. And like, there's like an audible or what does she say? She's like, there's just a visible, uh, they're just visibly defeated and totally broken. And Rahul Ligma says now he has no idea how he's going to be able to afford his Tesla payments. Uh, <laughs> and, and then he's sitting there holding a Michelle Obama book. <laughs> and so it's like him with his box just holding this Michelle Obama book. I don't know why. And he just said, and she tweeted out like, you know, this is just, they say, the first of many that's going to happen. It, it was just like so- a crazy, crazy scene. So people are, um, people are, 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 have heard this part of the story, but now 
we got that My First Million exclusive juice on top of it. So somebody in our group chat knows this guy who did this and he shared a text message that the guy sent before he did it. So he goes, um, he goes, yo, bro. And the person says, sup? He goes, are you doing anything in the next hour? Want to help me pull off a stunt? I'm at the gym and I need a box, LOL. I'm going to walk out in front of the Twitter <laughs> office with a box in my hand. There's hella TV crews outside. <laughs> <laughs> and then and this is literally how he pulled this up. And he just goes, he gets an empty box and a Michelle Obama book. There's nothing else in the box. <laughs> and he walks out and the TV crews go for it. And so, the, so that was, I thought, amazing. And then he, so that was like, I mean, what kind of genius is this person? And then he goes. Uh, <laughs> There's hella TV crews. Let's go get them. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he goes, bro, the media is so dumb. I literally put five minutes of planning into this. Even my uncle in India has seen the picture now. And he goes, <laughs> and he goes, and the first thing goes, did you just see the cameras and just walk out there? He goes, yeah, basically I got to the gym. It's near Twitter's headquarters. I saw all these cameras. And so I just went to it. Amazing. Dude, that is now, so funny. The better. The, Who is this guy? Did, so did he's we, he's did, like a founder did, of like a tech startup, basically. He just did this for fun. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I am ready to invest. And his thing says like stealth startup. So I'm like, I'm ready to invest in whatever he's, he's doing. I, I, any valuation. There's hella TV, there's hella TV cameras on. Name, name your price, Ligma. <laughs> <I'm in. laughs> so, so he goes, okay, so that was him. Did you see the interview with the other guy, Daniel Johnson? No. He also had a little gem. So that his was on video. So they're like, you know, um, how do you feel about this today? He's like, I, I don't know. I just got to like, I got to go home. I got to talk to my husband and wife and regroup. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he goes, I, I don't know. I just, I just really want to go home. I just I really want to go home, talk to my husband and wife and just regroup. <laughs> the most San Francisco thing ever. To did, anyone, husband and wife. <laughs> did anyone comment on that? The news didn't even like, like they just played the clip and then I saw that I was like wow that is the funniest thing I've ever heard perfect timing man these guys are like you know comedic geniuses basically so yeah this is pretty gold amazingly well played um yeah I don't, do you want to talk 